Hey, the Savvy Sister here. We're making almond milk. You're going to start with water. I like distilled water. Almond butter. Just make sure it's just almonds in there, nothing else. I like the organic raw myself. Pure vanilla, Himalayan, or any kind of sea salt. Pure raw honey and a mixer. So first you're going to add water. I like distilled because tap water's got a lot of the crap in it. Distilled is nice and pure, so you're going to add that first. Then you're going to add a heaping, a t heaping tablespoon of almond butter. Um, then a little bit, just a dash of sea salt. I like the uh, pink Himalayan, but you can add any sea salt. About a quarter of a teaspoon of pure vanilla. Organic or not is fine. Make sure this is raw honey. If you want to use local honey, that helps with allergies if you have allergies, but make sure this is raw honey that it hasn't been heated. Mix well for about 30 seconds on any kind of mixer. I'm using a ninja here, a little baby ninja, but you can use a bullet. There it is. It's beautiful. It's delicious. Uh, it doesn't have any of the additives in it. Um, make a little extra. Keep it in a glass container to keep it in the fridge. You do have to eat uh, drink this within three days or use it within three days. If you keep it in the fridge, it may separate. Just mix it up. Just shake it up before you use it. So simple. Um, I love this on cereal. My favorite is the uh, Ezekiel cinnamon raisin. It's got sprouted grains, uh, but you can use this milk any way you want. You can use it in um, cooking. You can use it just drinking it plain. Remember, you don't need any of that crap that the manufacturers put in it. You don't need carrageenan. You don't need the extra, all the additives and the, the flavorings and the artificial sugar because you're better than that and you know it. So enjoy. Thanks for watching.